A rich girl helped a disabled homeless person without knowing who he actually was. Once upon a time in the bustling city of New York, there was a young girl named Amelia. Amelia was born into a wealthy family and had never known the struggles of the less fortunate. She lived in a luxurious penthouse apartment overlooking Central Park, attended the most prestigious private school in the city, and had everything she could ever want. One cold winter morning, as Amelia was on her way to school in her chauffeur-driven limousine, she noticed a homeless man sitting on the sidewalk near her school. He was shivering and appeared to be disabled with no arms. His clothes were tattered, and he had a look of despair in his eyes. Amelia's heart went out to him, and she felt a deep urge to help. Stop the car, she told her driver, much to his surprise. I want to talk to that man. The driver pulled over, and Amelia stepped out of the car, making her way towards the homeless man. She knelt down beside him and asked if he was okay. The man looked up at her with surprise and nodded. I'm fine, he croaked, his voice hoarse from disuse, just cold and hungry. Amelia didn't hesitate. She reached into her designer handbag and pulled out some cash, handing it to the man. Here, take this. Get yourself some warm food and find a shelter for the night, she said softly, her blue eyes filled with compassion. The man looked at her in awe, not believing his luck. He had never encountered someone so kind and generous. He mumbled his thanks, and Amelia smiled warmly at him before getting back into her limousine and continuing on her way to school. Over the next few weeks, Amelia found herself thinking about the homeless man often. She couldn't shake off the image of his sad eyes and the cold, harsh reality of life on the streets. One day, after school, she decided to visit the spot where she had first met him. To her surprise, she found the man still sitting there, huddled in a corner, trying to shield himself from the biting wind. His condition seemed to have worsened, and Amelia's heart ached with compassion. Hi, she greeted him softly, crouching down beside him. I see you're still here. The man looked up at her, recognizing her immediately. Yes, he replied weakly. I haven't been able to find a shelter that can accommodate me. Amelia couldn't bear to see him suffer any longer. Come with me, she said without hesitation. I'll take care of you. The man looked at her with surprise and confusion. But you don't even know who I am. Why are you helping me? Amelia smiled kindly. It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. Everyone deserves to be treated with kindness and compassion. Now come on. With Amelia's help, the man struggled to his feet, and she guided him to her waiting limousine. Her driver opened the door for them, and they got in. Amelia gave her home address to the driver, and they set off. During the car ride, Amelia struck up a conversation with the man, whose name was Charlie. She learned that he had lost his arms in a work accident and had been living on the streets ever since. He had fallen on hard times and had no family or friends to turn to for help. Amelia listened intently, her heart going out to him even more. When they arrived at her penthouse apartment, Amelia wasted no time in getting Charlie settled. She had her housekeeper prepare a warm meal for him and made sure he had clean clothes and a comfortable bed to sleep in. Charlie was overwhelmed by Amelia's kindness and couldn't believe his luck. He had never imagined that a wealthy girl like Amelia would go out of her way to help a homeless man like him without knowing anything about him. As days went by, Amelia took care of Charlie with unwavering compassion. She made sure he had regular meals, warm clothes, and even arranged for a doctor to check on his health. She spent time talking to him, listening to his stories, and getting to know him as a person beyond his circumstances. Amelia was amazed by Charlie's resilience and determination despite his disability and difficult circumstances. She learned that he had once been a skilled carpenter and had dreams of starting his own woodworking business. However, a tragic accident had left him without arms and robbed him of his livelihood. Despite his challenges, Charlie remained optimistic and hopeful, never losing his sense of humor or his zest for life. Amelia found herself drawn to Charlie's positive outlook and indomitable spirit. She admired his resilience and determination to overcome his challenges, and she was inspired by his unwavering hope for a better future. She realized that despite her privileged life, she had never met someone with such inner strength and perseverance. Amelia's friends and family were initially taken aback by her newfound relationship with Charlie. 
They couldn't understand why she was spending so much time and effort on a homeless man without arms, and some even voiced their concerns about her safety and judgment. But Amelia was resolute in her decision to help Charlie, and she stood up for him, defending her actions and refusing to let their judgment sway her. As Amelia continued to spend time with Charlie, she discovered his passion for woodworking. He would often talk about the joy and fulfillment he found in creating things with his hands, despite his disability. Amelia was deeply moved by Charlie's love for his craft and his unwavering determination to pursue his passion, despite his current circumstances. One day, Amelia had a brilliant idea. She decided to use her resources and connections to help Charlie fulfill his dream of starting his own woodworking business. She contacted her father, who is a successful businessman, and shared Charlie's story with him. She explained how Charlie's talent and passion for woodworking could be harnessed to create beautiful products and generate income for him. Amelia's father, initially skeptical, eventually agreed to meet Charlie. Amelia brought Charlie to her father's office, and he was impressed by Charlie's skills and determination. With Amelia's support and her father's guidance, they set up a woodworking workshop for Charlie, complete with all the necessary tools and materials. Charlie was overjoyed, and he poured his heart and soul into his work. With Amelia's help, he created intricate woodwork pieces that were not only beautiful but also functional. He sold his creations online and at local markets, and soon his business started gaining recognition. As Charlie's woodworking business flourished, he became more independent and self-sufficient. He moved into a small apartment close to his workshop, and with Amelia's continued support, he even hired a few employees to assist him. Charlie's business became a success, and he started gaining a reputation as a talented woodworker in the city. Throughout this journey, Amelia remained by Charlie's side, cheering him on and providing him with the emotional support he needed. She took great joy in seeing Charlie's business thrive and witnessing his transformation from a homeless man without arms to a successful entrepreneur. One day, a few years after they first met, Amelia and Charlie were sitting in his workshop reminiscing about their journey together. Charlie looked at Amelia with gratitude in his eyes. I can never thank you enough for what you've done for me, Amelia, he said with his voice choked with emotion. You changed my life in ways that I could never have imagined. You saw beyond my circumstances and believed in me when no one else did. I'm eternally grateful to you. Amelia smiled warmly at Charlie, feeling a sense of fulfillment and happiness that words couldn't describe. She reached out and placed a hand on his shoulder. I'm just glad I could help, Charlie, she said softly. Seeing you pursue your passion and succeed in your business has been the greatest reward for me. You've taught me so much about resilience, determination, and the true meaning of kindness. I'm honored to know you and call you my friend. Charlie nodded, his eyes filled with tears. You'll always have a special place in my heart, Amelia, he said. You've not only helped me rebuild my life, but you've also inspired me to pay it forward and help others in need. I'll never forget what you've done for me. With their bond growing stronger each day, Amelia and Charlie continued to support each other in their respective endeavors. Charlie's woodworking business continued to thrive, and he expanded his reach, employing more individuals with disabilities and giving them a chance to pursue their passions. Amelia, on the other hand, dedicated her time and resources to various charitable causes, advocating for the rights and well-being of the homeless and disabled individuals in her community. Word of Charlie's incredible journey and Amelia's generosity spread, and they became local heroes in their city. Media outlets covered their story, and they were invited to share their experiences at various forums and events. Their story inspired many others to lend a helping hand to those in need, and they received numerous accolades and awards for their philanthropic efforts. As the years passed, Amelia and Charlie's friendship blossomed into something special. They shared countless memories, laughs, and tears together. They celebrated each other's successes and supported each other during rough times. They became each other's confidants and pillars of strength. One day, during a charity event organized by Amelia for the homeless, Charlie stood on the stage addressing the crowd with a heartfelt speech. He shared his story and expressed his gratitude to Amelia, 
who was sitting in the front row beaming with pride. As I stand here today, I'm reminded of how one act of kindness can change a person's life forever, Charlie said, his voice filled with emotion. Amelia saw the potential in me when others couldn't, and she believed in me even when I had lost faith in myself. She showed me that wealth and status don't define a person's worth, but it's their kindness, compassion, and willingness to help that truly matters. I'm eternally grateful to her, and I'm proud to call her my best friend. The audience erupted in applause, and Amelia stood up, her heart swelling with emotion. She walked up to the stage and hugged Charlie tightly, tears streaming down her face. I'm the lucky one, Charlie, she said, her voice choked with emotion. You've taught me so much about the true meaning of empathy, generosity, and selflessness. You've touched my heart in ways I can't describe, and I'm grateful every day for the privilege of knowing you. With their hearts full of love and gratitude, Amelia and Charlie continued to make a difference in the lives of those in need. They became advocates for social change and worked tirelessly to create a more inclusive and compassionate society. Their story continued to inspire others, and they lived a fulfilling life, knowing that they had made a positive impact on the world through their selfless actions. In the end, it wasn't Charlie's disability or Amelia's wealth that defined them, but their unwavering kindness and compassion. They showed the world that a simple act of kindness would change everything.